Hi everyone, this is Jesse from Om Yoga. Thank you for joining me today for this tutorial on crow and baby crow pose. You'll need one yoga block. When you're ready, grab your mat and you'll meet me on the backs. Meeting me on the backs, we're gonna explore crow pose in a supine way. You'll begin to extend the arms up towards the ceiling. Flex the fingers in towards the face. Rotate the arms in. Draw the shoulders up, back, and down, attaching the scapula onto the back. Press up towards the ceiling as if you're pressing it into a wall, creating your own resistance. From here, creating that crow shape, bringing the knees to the outsides or to the backs of the triceps. Pointing through the toes, you'll feel your core engage. See if you can start to lift the shoulder blades off of the mat, drawing the chin in towards the chest. A whole lot of core here. See if you can lift a little bit higher. Pulse for three, two, one. Inhale, hold at the top. And exhale, softly lower back down. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock a little as you work to come up onto the seat. We'll find our boat pose. Squeeze, magnetize the inner thighs. Draw everything in towards the midline of the body. Let's stay open through the heart, the chest. Active through the fingers, taking a few breaths. So the same sensation that you're feeling here of those inner hip adductors is going to translate directly to your arm balance or crow pose. When you're ready, you'll come forward and through, finding a malasana, bringing the hands inside of the hips. Maybe wiggle around a little bit here. Using the elbows to open up the hips. Big inhale, lengthen through the spine. Take a few breaths. Grabbing for your yoga block, you'll place it directly in front of your face. You'll bring the hands down, strong chaturanga arms. You'll work to bend the elbows, bring the knees to the backs of the triceps. See how I'm staying really grounded here? You'll shift the weight forward. You'll want to keep the drishti, the gaze, beyond the short edge of the mat. The block is there to catch you in case you start to fall. So keeping the gaze forward for now, shift the weight. Maybe see if you can lift one or both sets of toes. If this weight transfer is feeling good to, for you, shift the weight, lift both toes up, finding flexion in the spine, core engaged, straight arms or bent elbows, doesn't matter. Keep squeezing the knees to the backs of the triceps. Use the inner hip adductors. Give it two more breaths. You'll dismount the way you came in. Bring the feet back down to the mat. Follow the center of gravity of the hips. Bring the hands to heart space. Take a few breaths. If you want to remove the block now, you'll plant the hands. Maintain those strong chaturanga arms. Knees to the backs or on the outsides of the triceps. Squeezing, you'll create your own resistance. Shift the weight forward into the hands. See if you can lift off of one or both sets of toes. Straighten the arms for your crane pose. Take a few breaths. Pressing into the four corners of the palms and gripping with the fingers. You'll dismount the same way you came in. Lower the feet back down to the mat. Follow the center of gravity of the hips. Bring hands to heart space. Roll out the wrists if you need. And from here, we'll explore our baby crow. Coming down onto the forearms. Maybe bringing your block to help you find Alignment in the shoulder girdle. You'll bring the knees to the outsides or the backs of the triceps. You'll shift the weight and once again, work to rise off of one or both sets of toes. This pose is pretty low. Take a few breaths. You'll work to come out the same way you came in. Toes to the mat. Follow the center of gravity of the hips and begin to lift. We'll try that once again without a block. Bringing the forearm, forearms down towards the mat. Opening up through the hips. Your drishti, your gaze is forward so you don't face plant on the mat. Squeeze the knees to the outsides of the triceps. Shift the weight. Strong core. Inhale, rise up. Really point through to the toes. Take a few breaths. Dismount the way you came in. Lower the feet down. Follow the center of gravity of the hips. Hands to heart space. <laughs> 